Astronomers worldwide have raised the alarm. Experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson have just confirmed that Polaris is about to explode, and the story behind it is harrowing. Its central presence in the night sky defines its special position as the North Star. Until now, Polaris was the one constant stargazers, navigators, and astronomers could always count on. This may change soon enough, and with it, our night sky and astronomical measurements may never be the same again. Join us as we unveil the gravity of this threat and what it means to us all. Polaris, the guiding North Star, faces uncertainty. Research by the Royal Astronomical Society suggests it's on the brink of exploding, potentially vanishing from our skies. Situated 323 light years away, any event on Polaris would take centuries to reach Earth. Its historical significance spans civilizations, aiding navigation and symbolizing constancy. As a Cepheid variable star, Polaris's recent irregular pulsations have puzzled scientists, hinting at its possible end. Some liken its behavior to Betelgeuse, another star showing signs of an imminent explosion. Despite NASA's focus on Betelgeuse, similar attention hasn't been officially directed at Polaris. Cepheid stars embark on a grand journey through various phases in their evolutionary cycle. Newborn stars have relatively low temperatures and brightness. Following this, they progress into the main sequence phase, marked by nuclear fusion, where they remain stable for billions of years. Eventually, as their hydrogen fuel depletes, they transit into the red giant phase, characterized by a rapid increase in temperature and brightness. The red giant phase witnesses a dramatic surge in energy output before culminating in a catastrophic explosion. They shed their outer layers in a dazzling display known as a supernova. Post-explosion, what remains is a compact, dense core known as a white dwarf. Based on Polaris's irregular pulsations, scientists have predicted that the star has entered the stages of helium depletion that are observed in Cepheid stars nearing the end of their life cycles. As a Cepheid star exhausts its stable helium supply, the star undergoes erratic pulsations, causing fluctuations in its brightness. This depletion triggers a series of events leading to irregular light emissions, potentially reflecting the depletion process occurring within Polaris. It is, however, important to note that while these irregularities align with behaviors indicative of Cepheid stars in their twilight phases, definitive indications of Polaris nearing the ultimate stage of its life cycle remain inconclusive. Astronomers continue to analyze and interpret these irregularities in pursuit of understanding Polaris's impending fate. If Polaris were to go supernova, it would likely be a spectacular event in our sky. The star would suddenly become incredibly bright, potentially outshining the moon and becoming one of the brightest objects in the night sky. This could last for days, weeks, or months. The star's appearance might change drastically. It could transform into a brilliant point of light or a transient object, possibly developing colorful hues before fading away. The visual display might temporarily alter our perception of the familiar pattern of the Big Dipper or Ursa Minor, as Polaris is the current North Star and a part of these constellations. As for us, well rest assured that we'd be perfectly safe. Considering the mass and distance of Polaris, the Earth would likely be safe even if the star were to explode. Visually, while a Polaris explosion might not be as striking as that of Betelgeuse, it could still be visible to the naked eye for long and outshine nearby stars. Astronomers and observatories would certainly take notice, and the scientific community and stargazers worldwide would be intrigued by the phenomenon. Nonetheless, the specific visibility and impact on Earth's atmosphere or surroundings would be less significant compared to a closer supernova event. But what about the star itself? Upon the precipice of a potential supernova event, what will be the post-cataclysmic fate of Polaris? Let's get one thing straight here. While giant stars usually end their lives with a supernova, this will most likely not be the case with Polaris. Normally, when a massive star goes supernova, a colossal explosion occurs within it. This event marks the final cataclysmic stage in the life of that star, resulting in the dispersion of heavy elements and sometimes leading to the formation of neutron stars or black holes. This process involves a complete collapse of the core in a high-mass star, which has to be around eight times the mass of our Sun. When such a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer support itself against its own gravity, causing its core to collapse. This collapse triggers an intense shock wave that races outward, causing the star to explode violently. Based on how exactly they proceed, supernovae are broadly categorized into two types, Type 1 and Type 2. Type 2 supernovae occur in massive stars with complex layers, where the core collapses, and the outer layers are expelled explosively, 
resulting in a burst of light and energy visible from vast distances. This is more common of the two. In contrast, a Type 1 supernova occurs in binary star systems where one of the stars is a white dwarf. One possible scenario here is that the companion star expands and material from it gets thrown into the white dwarf orbiting it. When the white dwarf accumulates enough mass from the companion star, reaching a critical limit of roughly 1.4 times the mass of the Sun, it undergoes a nuclear fusion reaction, leading to a sudden explosion and the release of an immense amount of energy. In another scenario, if two white dwarfs are in a binary system and their orbits decay due to loss of energy, they can merge. The combined mass exceeds the critical limit, initiating a similar runaway fusion reaction and subsequent supernova. These Type 1 have a consistent intrinsic brightness, making them useful as standard candles for measuring cosmological distances. In turn, we use them to estimate the age of the universe and the rate of expansion. Following a supernova, the collapse of a star's core will birth either a neutron star or a black hole. A neutron star is characterized by its staggering density contained within a space comparable to a modern-day city, lies a compact entity harboring 1.4 to 3 times the mass of our Sun. This compact mass primarily comprises densely nestled neutrons, minute constituents found within atomic nuclei. In contrast, a black hole's infinite density wields an overpowering gravitational force, ensnaring even light within its grasp, rendering it a cosmic void, devoid of detectable radiation emissions. However, Polaris deviates from this trajectory. Its fate won't lead to a neutron star or a black hole due to its inadequate mass for a supernova explosion. As a Cepheid variable star, five times more massive than the Sun, Polaris, though substantial, lacks the mass required for a supernova event. Instead, upon depleting its nuclear fuel, Polaris will gracefully shed its outer layers, transforming into a serene white dwarf, a small, incredibly dense remnant that marks the star's tranquil conclusion. A white dwarf, the residue of a low or medium mass star exhausting its nuclear fuel, boasts tremendous density, equivalent in mass to the Sun but condensed to Earth's size. This transformation occurs as the star depletes its nuclear fusion fuel, succumbing to gravity's collapse. Eventually, these remnants will fade from our view, mirroring the current observation of the star. By aligning the anticipated effects of Polaris's transformation with past supernova occurrences, valuable parallels emerge. We can compare our expectations with well-documented supernovae and explosions, like SN1054 Crab Nebula or SN1987A. Examining the resulting phenomena such as the formation of nebulae or the release of cosmic rays, evaluating potential similarities in luminosity variations, ejection of elements, and impact on surrounding celestial environments provides a basis for understanding Polaris's potential aftermath. Contrasting anticipated outcomes with observed supernova events helps us predict the fate of Polaris. Analyzing the light curves, spectra, and remnants from these events and projecting similar characteristics for Polaris's anticipated burst can assist in predicting the potential evolutionary stages of the resulting celestial remnants. To make a definitive comparison, scientists examine the differences in the mass, composition, and speed of ejected materials between Polaris's anticipated burst and other observed events. Assessing whether Polaris's burst might lead to the formation of nebulae or distinct elemental distributions will certainly enhance our understanding of its unique characteristics. Examining how Polaris's burst may differ from or resemble other supernova phenomena will also involve analyzing the evolutionary stages of the stars leading to their explosions. Here, our goal is to compare the mass, metallicity, and evolutionary paths of stars in the pre-supernova stages, and of course, to relate them to Polaris. This investigation will uncover potential differences or similarities in how these explosions unfold. However, there's another crucial aspect that has stirred the scientific community. It's essential to study the rhythmic variability of stars approaching their final stages, akin to Polaris, against observed precursors to supernovae. This comparison allows us to discern resemblances or deviations. Examining whether Polaris's irregular pulsations align with characteristics found in other stars approaching their explosive endpoints enriches our comprehension of the bursting mechanism. However, this aspect is already familiar. Analyzing Polaris's projected burst in comparison to historical supernova events and smaller burst promises to aid in prediction, comparison, and examination of potential outcomes. This endeavor will yield pivotal insights into the distinctiveness or similarities of this celestial event within the grand cosmic scheme. Yet, it's unwise to rush to conclusions.
The irregularities observed in Polaris's behavior challenge conventional understanding, persisting as an enigmatic puzzle that defies a complete explanation. Anticipating the exact moment a star's life will conclude remains an intricate challenge. The perplexing irregular pulsations of Polaris demand deeper investigation. Astronomers recognize the pressing need to delve into the underlying mechanisms responsible for this celestial entity's unprecedented behavior. Unraveling the unique conditions driving Polaris's irregularities holds the key to advancing our comprehension of stellar evolution and behavior. Polaris is a steadfast reference point for telescopic calibration and celestial navigation. It assumes paramount importance in astronomical endeavors. And perhaps it is this importance that has created a sort of cognitive bias among those who feel that the star will persist. Or maybe, the heightened excitement about Betelgeuse has done it for the other side. In either case, the looming uncertainty surrounding the future and the prospect of Polaris's potential burst poses substantial concerns. The recent revelations from the Royal Astronomical Society have highlighted a new area demanding intense scrutiny and research. The enigmatic behavior exhibited by Polaris underscores the criticality of deeper investigations and dedicated research efforts. Astronomers must grapple with the complexities surrounding the irregular pulsations, recognize the necessity to unravel the unique conditions triggering this anomalous behavior, and present a concrete answer. But what is that answer? Only time will tell. On our part, all we can do is advance our comprehension of the underlying mechanisms shaping Polaris's irregularities. If Polaris were to undergo a catastrophic event, the loss of this crucial reference in the night sky could significantly impact the accuracy of ground-based telescopes and celestial measurements. This would force us to recalibrate our ground instruments and also impact the accuracy of astronomical assessments. An irreplaceable loss indeed. The anomalous behavior exhibited by Polaris has unveiled a realm of uncertainties in the astronomical domain. The looming possibility of its impending burst calls for heightened vigilance, dedicated research endeavors, and a concerted effort to grasp the unique celestial intricacies shaping its erratic behavior. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe. See you in the next video.